In this video we will showcase to you the complete timeline of Kaiju battles and important events that happened within Toho's Godzilla Monster Universe. We decide not to include Gamera and other Kaiju that have no connection with the main Godzilla timeline. But others like Rodan and Mothra are well covered. In this timeline we start out with prehistoric times that include both Heisei and Showa events as it would be too confusing to do them in branching timelines, going in and out from the future to the past and back again. The Millennium series of events are all standalone except for their connection to the original 1954 event that Godzilla first appeared. So, 550 million years ago, a colony of microscopic crustaceans from the Precambrian era thrives by living in anaerobic environments. These organisms are later known as Desteroia. 300 million years ago, Meganeura dragonflies evolved on Earth in the Carboniferous period way before the dinosaurs. In the early Cretaceous age, pterosaur creatures mutated and evolved into Rodan as well as the Meganulons from the lesser known Meganeura. In the Cretaceous age, Rainbow Mothra battles the younger Cretaceous King Ghidorah and kills it leaving only one of its tail intact. Millions of years ago, Godzilla had frequent fights with Anguirus. Both of them were territorial. Millions of years ago again, Desteroia destroys all life in planet Mars and comes to Earth but was met with resistance and battled against Mothra. 10,000 BC, Batra was created by Earth to stop an ancient civilization from changing the climate. Later it battled with Mothra and was trapped in the Northern Ocean. Thousands of years ago, Kingdom of Cetopia is established. Hundreds of years ago, Mothra relocates to Infant Island and forms a bond with the Shobijin fairies. In February 1944, while threatened by the American soldiers, the Japanese soldiers were saved by a mysterious dinosaur. In 1954, Godzilla was first awakened and emerges to destroy the city of Tokyo. He was eventually killed by the oxygen destroyer weapon. In the same year, the Futurans who came from 1992 left three Dorats exposing them to radiation from the nuclear tests to later evolve into King Ghidorah. The Showa era of events followed directly after Godzilla was killed by the oxygen destroyer weapon. So in 1955 another Godzilla is awakened and fights with Anguirus and burns him to death with his atomic breath. Later, Godzilla is trapped under an avalanche by the humans. In 1956, two Rodans were awakened from beneath a mountain and battles the Mega Neulon Swarm. They both died together under an erupting volcano. In 1961, the discovery of Shobijin natives and Mothra in Infant Island. They were kidnapped but later rescued by Mothra. In 1962, two iconic monsters go head to head, King Kong vs Godzilla. The G-Man had the upper hand until Kong was revitalized by a lightning strike and fought again to a draw falling over a cliff to the ocean. While Kong swam back to shore, Godzilla swam away. In 1964, the Japanese went to ask for help from the Shobijin against Godzilla terrorizing their country, but their plea wasn't accepted by the Shobijin fairies, until Mothra herself decides to fight Godzilla although she dies. Two of her offspring survive her and stop Godzilla. In the same year, Three kaiju unite to fight against a space monster called Ghidorah. This evil was ultimately defeated and sent back to space by Rodan, the new Mothra and Godzilla fighting together. In 1965, the Zillions plead with humanity to borrow Godzilla and Rodan to defeat King Ghidorah, only to betray the humans and unleash the monsters on Earth. But in the end, Ghidorah and the aliens were defeated by Rodan and Godzilla. In 1966, Godzilla is awakened in Lechi Island and fights Ebira and destroys the Red Bamboo terrorist base. He later challenges Mothra on the same island, but then both escape just in time to avoid being blown off along with the island by a nuclear bomb. In 1967, Godzilla saves Minila from two Kamakura and later both of them kill the Kumonga in a combined atomic breath attack. In 1971, a pollution kaiju called Hedora arises and Godzilla battles it but couldn't win. He later teamed up with the military and uses their weapon to defeat it. In 1972, the Nebula M aliens lure Ghidorah and Jigen from space to destroy human civilization, but the signal was caught on by Godzilla who along with Anguirus defeats the two space monsters and send them back. In 1973, angered by the destruction of Monster Island, the Cetopians send their god Megalon to destroy humanity. 
Nebula M aliens sent Jagan to aid Megalon, but then they were defeated by Godzilla and Jet Jaguar. In 1974, Mecha Godzilla emerges from a mountain and nearly kills Anguirus. It defeats Godzilla as well. It fights King Caesar to a standstill until Godzilla returns and destroys it. In 1975, a mad scientist rebuilds Mecha Godzilla and mentally controls a kaiju called Titanosaurus, sending them both to Tokyo. These two monsters were later defeated by Godzilla and a Japanese military combining forces. 24 years later in 1999, the Kylak aliens managed to control the minds of all the Earth's monsters and send them to destroy all Godzilla, Earth's capital cities. But the UNSC manages to retrieve the device and free the monsters. The Kylak sent King Ghidorah to battle all the monsters but was defeated. They sent another monster called Fire Dragon but was later revealed to be a flying saucer and it too was destroyed by Godzilla. Now comes the Heisei era, which ignores all the events that happened from 1955 to destroy all monsters, rebooting the franchise by making a sequel to the first Godzilla attack in 1954 and what happens 30 years after it. So in 1984, a new Godzilla arises after 30 years and this one engages in a battle with an armored fortress weapon called Super X. Godzilla was then trapped inside a volcano. 1989, five years later, Godzilla's genes are mixed with plants and from it arises a new kaiju called Biolante. Godzilla escapes from the volcano and battles and defeats this planned kaiju. 1992, the Futurans from the year 2204 travel to 1992 and use Ghidorah to subjugate Japan, but was in the end defeated by Godzilla, although future Mecha King Ghidorah manages to take Godzilla away into the ocean. Mid-1992, the United Nations established the UNGCC or United Nations Godzilla Countermeasure Center. In the same time, Garuda and Mecha Godzilla are being created. 1994, Baby Godzilla is born and in the same time Godzilla and Rodan battles with Garuda and Mecha Godzilla. Rodan dies and his life force regenerates Godzilla, powering up the G-Man to a level that he destroys Super Mecha Godzilla. In the same year, Godzilla's cells in space brought by Mothra grows into Space Godzilla near a black hole. Space Godzilla makes it to Earth and battles with Godzilla and Moguera. 1996, Godzilla's heart which acts as a nuclear reactor is nearing a nuclear meltdown which threatens the entire Earth. Meanwhile, a colony of mutated creatures known as Destoroyer emerge from the ocean, changing form and terrorizing Japan. Both Godzilla and Destoroyer die in the end. 1996, Mothra and Mothra Leo fights Des Ghidorah, saving the world from imminent destruction. In 1997, Mothra fights Dagara, a monster created by an ancient advanced civilization designed to manage pollution. 1998, Mothra and Mothra Leo fights Ghidorah, travels back in time to mature into an armored form and then defeats two Ghidorahs, one in the past and the other in the present day. 2204, Mecha King Ghidorah sent back in time to 1992 to help save Japan from Godzilla's rage. From here on end, the Millennium series of events are all standalone events that completely ignores the Heisei and Showa periods and events but keeps on rebooting the sequels to the 1954 events. In 1998, a monster which was similar to Godzilla attacks New York City. This was called Zilla. In 1999, 45 years after the events of the original Godzilla film, he fights a new monster called Ogre. In 2000, yet another reboot and this time Godzilla fights another monster called Megagirus which is a queen of the mutated creatures from the Cretaceous period. In 2001, Following his death in 1954, spirits of people killed in World War II by the Japanese reanimate Godzilla to attack Japan, but this monster was stopped by three legendary beasts, the Guardian Monsters, Baragon, Mothra and Ghidorah. 2000, 2002 and 2003 Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla and Godzilla Tokyo SOS are the only two events in Millennium series that are related to each other. 2004 Final Wars in the 21st century, extensive warfare, nuclear testing and careless science had mutated or awakened the great beasts of all shapes and sizes. Godzilla battles Monster X in the end which later evolves into Kaiser Ghidorah, the strongest form of Ghidorah. The Reiwa series of events ignores everything and is a complete reboot of the Godzilla series. In 2016, a mysterious creature appears off the coast and then comes inland and evolves four times into four forms of Godzilla ending in a fourth form that is a gigantic and super powerful, but from it emanates humanoid forms of Godzilla which are human sized. From here on end is the timeline of the animated series. In 1999, creatures and monsters arise but all of them including humanity are driven to near extinction by Godzilla. 
22,000 AD. The survivors return to Earth and experience a time dilation sending them 20,000 years into the future and they defeat a smaller form of Godzilla but only to reawake the biggest Godzilla version ever seen, Godzilla Earth. And in the same year they reawaken Mecha Godzilla City which nearly turns the entire planet into itself but was in the end destroyed by Godzilla. The planet eater Ghidorah was then summoned to kill Godzilla and consume the planet. This interdimensional creature was invulnerable to physical damage until it was later merged with Earth's physics and becomes materialized, therefore allowing Godzilla to defeat it and send it back. So this brings us to the end of a long timeline of Toho Godzilla Cinematic Universe. Do like, share and subscribe for more related content.